Hello. I know I'm in a bit close on this item, but I wanted to zero in on some of the features and the operation. I'll show you the whole thing here. This is a water clock built by a retired dentist in Germany. In the base, you see here, there is a plastic tank and a pump. The water can drain through here and there's a valve to control how fast it drains. The water itself comes in from the pump through this valve. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. And what we'll do is we'll follow the water side first. So when the pump starts, the copper float will start to rise. And when it gets to a certain point, a number of things are going to happen. We're going to follow the water side first. So what's going to happen is when it gets up to a certain level, it's going to trip a couple of switches and Specifically, this switch here and this switch right here. Now, when it does that, when the float come up and does that, a couple of things are going to happen. That switch is going to trip and the pump is going to shut off. And let me see if I get around here. The pump is going to shut off and... Where are you? Get down there. The drain is going to open. Okay. So, with the pump down and the drain open, the water is going to drain out of the tank. Back here. The water is going to drain out of the tank and as the float goes down with the level, again, a couple things are going to happen. This looks this thing that looks like a big long C clip is going to trip. The pump is going to restart and where'd you go? And the drain closes. Now, one of the ways to adjust how fast or how slow this clock works is by adjusting this valve here on the drain cycle and adjusting this valve here on the fill cycle. Now, I'll pan out and do it again just so you get a good idea. Again, this is the water side of the pump, or the water side of the clock. Now, the float rises, and as the float rises, it trips the big C switch here, which starts the pump and opens the drain. And when it comes down, it'll restart the pump and close the drain down here at the bottom of the tank. So that's the water cycle. So let's go over here and we'll zero in on the reason this clock was built in the first place. When that float rises, what it does is the float rises and there's a gear trip here and an escapement wheel there. What will happen is that will trip and it will move, it will move the face one notch forward. 
And that's at its most basic how it works. You have to time the fill cycle and drain cycle to get the clock to advance fast enough so that it'll keep time with the hours. There's two weights here. This one is filled with lead shot and it runs the C switch that operates the pump and the tank drain. This is an interesting weight that looks after the, the float rising and falling. Um, this was built with different uh, coins of the realm, you might say, different denominations of coins from Deutschland. And again, the, the real trick to this is getting it to fill and drain fast enough to click this around, you know, once. It has to go about 20 times to get to the hour. So you've got about three minutes for that to come up and drain. Now, I wanted to go through all this before, again, before I filled it with water and got it running. I got everything cleaned up here. This is uh, acrylic and I cleaned it and the brass and the float all up. So uh, my best advice is please use distilled water only because that way it'll never never stain or tarnish. Uh, when I was planning on keeping it, I was going to play with the idea of putting a little bit of food coloring in the water, just so you could see it move. But with the difference in optics as, you're, as light moves through the medium, we should be able to see it, but you'll see that in the next video. Wonderful. There we go. Thanks for watching.